Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of How Did We Get Here? I'm your host, Jay Carter, and the man that has always heard and never ever seen Skeens, he is here, aka the Wizard of Oz, aka the background, <laughs> background killer. It's been a bit since we've been on together, man. <laughs> Just excited to be here on this uh, wonderful Valentine's Day. We're going to start off with a special treat for all the lovers out there. But um, again, better than your average, it's the channel and the movement. How did we get here is the show. We got two cousins that are like brothers that are talking any and everything in the process. How did we get here? How have you been, my brother? Good. What about yourself, man? It's all good, baby, man. Again, it is officially February 14th. The day of loving and hugging and kissing and oh, I'm gonna give you what you miss, yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's to all the lovers out there, man. Um, but we want to start y'all off, man, with uh, we got something special for all, all the lovers out there. Everything you missing, oh, oh. Close your eyes. Why are you awake? <laughs> Why you coming in the bedroom? <laughs> hey, 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 you do you gotta hear the the, 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 the normal ad lib? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Do you, do you hear with the random scare? <laughs> Wait, wait, y'all, wait, 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 hold on. I'm gonna go old school. Valentine's Day, baby. Skirt. I'ma drive you crazy. Skirt. Cut the lights off. Wear them collard greens. Yeah. You know your boy. Yeah. I'm going in mean. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh. We gonna get it right. Oh. We gonna do it oh. all night. Damn. Yeah. Oh. Valentine's Day, baby. <laughs> hey, that's to all the lovers out there, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. From the boys that, how did we get here? <laughs> anyway, man, on to more serious things. <laughs> Oh, man, we just want to play with y'all real quick, man. But um, what we wanted to, the topic that we wanted to broach today on this wonderful day of love, and uh, this day has been changed into, you know, where it's predominantly assumed that there's going to be a lot of things done for the ladies. Mm -hmm. So we got questions. Um, question number one. And I saw this a lot when I worked in the call center. I had, a, you know, many women that I knew. And they were dissatisfied with their significant other quite a bit. But like clockwork on Valentine's Day, the, the roses and the flowers and the trinkets would start to get delivered and brought in. And things would change. So, ladies, can your man repair himself from 
a year or months or weeks of lackluster performance if he has a wonderful Valentine's Day. Now, we're moving a little different because we're in the time of COVID. But could he could he come back um, in the fourth quarter of the game? <laughs> <laughs> You know, could he throw a Hail Mary and get you some flowers and take you out to dinner or, you know, whatever, whatever your cup of tea is? You know what I'm saying? Um, are you a women? Are you y'all can comment in the bottom. Are you valent? Are you believers in celebrating Valentine's Day? Um, if if your man doesn't come correct on Valentine's Day, is that a, a break? Is it going to be some furniture moving in the house? Are you going to be upset? Um, Skins, I know you have some other questions as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, you're talking about going back to the the call center days, mm -hmm. and I used to be so disgusted mm. by the one up in competition between. Oh them. man, yeah, because one girl, guy would send flowers, right, and you would literally see chicks get on the phone and tell their guy. What the other chick got, <laughs> basically put the pressure. You better, you gotta outdo this one. Right. I need better than that one. But as you were talking about, that one day should should not outweigh my three sixty four. Right. Mm -hmm. Three sixty five on a leap year. You know what I'm saying? But in many cases, we would see a guy that she this chick has just been in a sparring session with this guy. Mm -hmm. But because he met her 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 standards or, or surpassed her standards on that valentine day always forgiving he's he's praised and uplifted contrast to the guy who's been doing his job and made every day valentine day mm -hmm. and he did a little bit more than what he normally does mm -hmm. he took that ale mm -hmm. and was talked bad about and right. how he ain't no good and he trifling but all that that sweat equity that he's been building up year after year, day after day, meant nothing. Right. So well, I, I I was sharing with you earlier is that um, I saw some things about and I, and here's the thing, guys. What we're saying is, if you choose to do something on Valentine's Day, cool. But is it, are you doing it from a place of obligation? Right. Mm -hmm. Number two, I've seen things. My rebuttal to to that is that. Um, I saw and I'm again, I'm not knocking anybody what they did for their spouse or their significant other on Valentine's Day. But I saw, you know, oh, brought me breakfast in bed. Da, 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 da. And I was sharing with Skeens. I I take my wife breakfast in bed all the time. So it doesn't have to be. I think the idea that we're trying to convey is that the goal should be that valentine's day should be a continuation of what you've already been doing in the first place yeah. that's that's the idea so the in 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 many instances when they we talk about oh he did that person did this on this special day yeah is it being done because uh, out of true admiration and love right. or are you doing it just to say oh i did this for her or right, right, right. he did this for me and vice versa on right. this day because right. now how genuine is it right mm -hmm. If you got, if I gotta wait to this date just to do something right. special for you, right? How special are you? Right, exactly, exactly. So I think, um, I just want. I, th I mean, of course, I think there's there's been so many social and cultural cues as to why we put it at such a high place in our. Because I was looking. Um, this was a while back. I was looking at some investment stuff. And Warren Buffett was talking about this company that he bought years ago. I think it's called Seize Candy or whatever. Mm. And he was like the biggest where they make the majority of their money for the whole calendar year. Valentine's Day. Dude, Valentine's <laughs> Day, they were saying this year is going to be lower than last year. Mm. Last year worldwide, they was, it was around $28 billion mm. wow. on Valentine's Day. This right. year, I think they're predicting around $22 billion. Mm -hmm. But still, with a right. B. Right, with the B, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, just some food for thought, man, because we joke about it every year. Uh, uh, you know, some ladies I know, they ask, what are you and Liz going to, you know, like, we going to post up chill, you know. Um, now, really, if it wasn't COVID times, we might have moved around a little bit, but it's not an expectation that I have an expectation of her or she has an expectation of me because we love on each other all the time. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of us can admit that 
you know, as far as gifts and stuff like that, again, surprise gifts and stuff. But there's really nothing that I'm like waiting around for for Christmas or just on my birthday or just on Valentine's Day. It, you know, typically, if I want to get something, I, um, I can go and get it or, you know, I, I'm in a position where I'm saving up bread for a certain thing. Then I go and get it. But um, I just don't think that the measure of a man, the issue is if you have a good man, mm-hmm. if he's holding it down, if he's a loving dude. If he does do the sweet nothings, as they call it, and then on Valentine's Day, if he was evaluated as a bum, if he did come with something on that day, if he's been doing it throughout the entire year, if he's always that guy. Um, And then, again, the other side of it is, for the most part, uh, Valentine's Day, again, is skewed. (laughs) We were looking at another podcast, shout out to the Joe Button podcast, and they were talking about. It was sweetest day. Sweet. Sweetest I've day. heard of this, but I didn't know this was supposed to be the male day. Now, Never. women, let us know if you knew it. Have you been doing stuff for your man on? No one has got anything. I don't know any dude that's getting anything on sweeters or sweeties, whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> I don't know any dude that's been like, man, boy, <laughs> I'll show. It. You know what I'm saying? I, I no I, dude. We had. I didn't get no deliveries at work in October. No, like, look, man. come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. What we talking about, man? What we talking about? So. Um, well, the question, one question I like to ask, right? Okay, go ahead. For any couple, what would be your theme song that would represent your your relationship? Ah, what oh. would be the ideal theme song that would that we or what would be your relationship playlist that would basically tell the story of your relationship? Mm. So yeah, down in the comments, guys, couples, if you could put some songs that represent who you guys are as a couple i some that i could think of if we wouldn't get flagged on youtube i'd play some of these songs but uh one that uh well several uh ribbon in the sky uh stevie wonder uh there's a music soul child song uh i think it's called in you uh, that's more so from my side uh to Liz though but he was talking about um he started off he was like I never wanted a woman that wanted me for my name or material things and then he also talks about how uh the woman accepts him for all of his flaws and everything you know what I'm saying but it's uh I think I don't know the exact time but he said I found all of that in you mm-hmm. um I think about uh Oh, uh, P.J. Morton, uh, When We First Begin, that's a dope one. Mm. Uh, Boyfriend number two, don't count for people that may want to <laughs> in the comments. Side note. That does not count. But, yeah, the P.J. Morton joint where he's like, um, if I die, I'd hope to find you in another life. I was like, that was one of the dopest lyrics, man. <laughs> uh, but it's a whole bunch of them, man, that um, – I know my parents, They uh, one of their favorites is September by Earth, Wind & Fire because they got married in September. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of songs that me and Liz, man. I thought you were going to go with Greatest Love. Music. That one, I mean, I, I got so many mu- uh, music. Music, music, that guy. Yeah, uh, writing, arranging, man. Uh, yeah, Greatest. Um, I could, Man, I, I, I can talk about, you know, I can talk about yeah. music all day. But, yeah. Uh, Justin Timberlake, take it from here. That was one me and Liz love. Uh, I want to be your lake or your bay. Uh, that joint. It's a whole bunch of love songs. I sent her, uh, you know, cause I had to do something Facebook official, but I put on there that Moody's uh, I'm in the mood for love. With Brian McKnight when they sent, did it with Quincy Jones. Um, and then uh, <laughs> I was looking at... Uh, episode of living single when kyle uh sang uh funny valentine to max mm-hmm. <laughs> he had max all broke down man that mess was so funny <laughs> but uh so that'll be that'll be an interesting well uh, wait a minute let's go to i mean you're the uh i mean you're the least relational man i know <laughs> but what else you are uh r&b and music lover though what are some some ones that you would pick on a on a valentine's day Oh, oh, well, 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 
depends on what uh, rating scale are we going to go on this one. Okay. <laughs> 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 hey, because you can go Omarion, Nacred. <laughs> uh, well, no. <laughs> I was talking for people. No, say Marcus people. Houston. People. Yeah, Marcus Houston. Yeah. Well, you know people that want to play. Come on. Uh, they, some people may play uh, Neo Mirror. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mirror so, was a joint. Yeah. So, depending on. Well, right. That's straight. Meeting in my bedroom. They're straight it's, bedroom, but so, it's more romantic, romantic. though. So, don't no, say what. Yeah. So what category? So that, okay. Are you? So, we said, if we're uh, talking about bedroom, we okay. said naked, mirror. So, you can go to occasions. Two occasions. Okay. Uh, after seven. Uh, Tyrese, Angel. Oh, that's a slip on. on. People don't know that. Yeah, like so. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of different uh, don't change music. Yeah, yeah, that's another one. So it's a lot of different great songs out there we can kind of go with. It just depends on uh, what stage. Mm-hmm. So you, uh, Dolly Parton, a.k.a. In, uh, Dolly Parton slash, uh, rest in peace, Whitney, uh, Houston. Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You. Yeah. So that so it just depends on the person. Yeah. Oh, uh, I know a whole man, bunch of y'all like country, but we ain't country. But there's some country. I know my, my friends like country. Are like y'all leaving out a whole bunch, but yeah. Period. I mean, uh, Bruno so Mars had that joint. Oh, uh, what was it? He had a joint back in the day. Just the way you are. Yeah. That one or yeah. okay. Uh, uh, oh, Shania Twain. St- oh yeah, still the one still I love. Still That's for the country the people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your boy, yeah. your guy was a, was a country guy. Uh, yeah. So yeah, um, that's tons of of music. Once again, love. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. That was on the first yeah, album. Man. You know, yeah, people slept. Yeah, yeah. Somehow the, the replay value of that one kind of fell. Oh. Um, yeah, man. Oh, uh, thinking out loud, air sharing. Yep, another Ed. Ed, Ed slept Ed, on. Ed, so. Ed, man, secretly just got billions and billions of streams and views, man. Shout out to Ed Sheeran, man. Heard. I know. What's my man? Uh, Daniel Caesar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best, Best part. part. Yes, so, sir. yeah, it's a, it's a lot of major. This, this is why I love you. Yeah. So many, y'all. It's a lot we're, of songs out there. Showing so many nope. songs, man, on this love day of love. Um. Mm. I know. Let's go here, man, because we, we won't be before you long, man. We just wanted to. Send some love from the uh, the wonderful people here at um, How Did We Get Here? But uh, I was thinking, um, oh, first and foremost, y'all, we got, man, I got, we got some dope stuff coming up. I got my third grade teacher, Mrs. Patty Sullivan, coming on. Uh, that'll be coming. And um, actually had one of my sisters hit me up, y'all. She wants to come and give some knowledge and some game to the women and from a perspective that you might not be thinking. So if y'all want to come on the show, man, uh, hit me up, message me, um, Instagram, Facebook, or whatever. You got my number, hit me, and we'll set it up, man, so we can um, that we can we can do that, man. Don't forget to go uh, subscribe to the channel, of course. Uh, if y'all want to shoot us some bread, we got the cash app on there. You know, we're trying to always increase our you know our ability to put out great content and. And step our game up but um on this day man we just wanted to um highlight highlight the this this day of love um but also just make sure that we're looking at it in the right perspective in the right purview you know what i'm saying and um one of my brothers he um he won't mind if i steal this and i'm gonna read actually verbatim what he said but uh Feel the space, Mario. While I, I'm oh yeah, while I find this stuff, man. And and if your relationship is in shambles, uh, Al Green, "Let's Stay Together" is a great song to play on repeat today. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. It's uh today's. I mean, today is a is a day to really just you know appreciate who you're with, and also make sure that your relationship, the health of your relationship, is is at an all time high. There you go, and, exactly, and, and not like a quote unquote. You know, like how we have the Sunday Christians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you you hooping and hollering and in tongues uh, until like one o'clock when you get out of church, and then you back to cursing everybody out. Right. So, <laughs> think of the relationship in that that same term. Make sure every day is is you uplifting, loving, 
and uh, I want to speak for most men in general. You know, I do know some women that what do what do you guys want for Valentine's Day? The same thing I want the other days. Little shh, 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 shh. little peace and quiet. Post up, chill, some good food, and I want that action. That's a wonderful balance. You don't have to. We're simple. You don't have to overthink this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have to overthink it for us. Go to the secret, the uh, the secret uh, tank playbook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's another one that y'all can go to. But this is I'm, this is applause for men everywhere. Keep it simple. Food, chill out, and I need that action. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but shout out to my um. My big brother and mentor, he had a dope post today. And check this out. He won't mind me uh, reading it. But uh, he said marriage was not meant to be endured. So marriage, your relationship. It was created to be enjoyed. Don't allow life to make you bitter towards your spouse. We all face challenges in our marriages, health, financial, social, etc., However, with today being Valentine's Day, let this be a day of reset. If your marriage is on the rocks, forgive one another. Come together and move forward. Roses are beautiful. Chocolates are delicious. But a fresh commitment is priceless. Couldn't have said it better myself. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, y'all, we just want to come and hit y'all real quick, man. This has been another episode of How Did We Get Here? I'm your boy Jay Carter, the man that has always heard and never seen. That's me back Skeens. here. Background killer, a.k.a. That's me, man. <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next episode. We'll holler.